Hi, and welcome to another uh, another uh, edition of the Gut Academy. Today, I'm Dr. Will DiPaolo, um, taking you through different information and um, strategies on maintaining and keeping a healthy gut. Um, today, we are going to continue our series on uh, gut bacteria, focusing on uh, Fecalobacterium prausnitzii. So um, let's jump right in. Let's go. So, um, Fecalobacterium prausnitzii is one of the powerhouse bacteria in our gut. Um, it spans across all ethnicities and all geographic locations, which is why we call it a core bacteria. Um, and that's because of its ubiquitous nature and it's being found uh, in all people from all walks of life. Um, it's uh, been linked with everything, uh, health benefits from weight loss to relieving inflam uh, irritable bowel syndrome. So Fecalobacterium prausnitzii comprises about 5 to 15% of the bacteria in our intestine and is reported to have a huge amount of numerous health benefits. Um, the main function of Fecalobacterium prausnitzii is that it breaks down dietary fiber because our bodies lack the machinery and the tools to do it our ourselves. Uh, this process of breaking down dietary fiber is called fermentation and it produces a substance that's really critical for our health of our gut and also for all parts of our physiology, which is short-chain fatty acids. Uh, one such short-chain fatty acid is called butyrate, and you may have heard of that because it's been in the news a lot lately. Um, short-chain fatty acids are an important energy source for the body. They provide between 5 and 15% of a person's daily caloric needs. So um, in addition to that, they have many other health benefits, including um, modulating immune responses, um, they are anti-inflammatory in nature, so they keep that inflammation down in your gut. And they're a fuel for the cells of our colon, which are called colonocytes or epithelial lymphocytes. And these, um, by providing fuel for these cells, it keeps them healthier and more, um, more, uh, more healthy. Um, I already mentioned that they um, can... Oh, and, and by keeping those um, colonocytes healthy, what it does is also influences mucus production and helps maintain a healthy gut barrier and prevents a leaky gut. So um, short-chain fatty acids that are produced by bacteria like Fecalobacterium uh, prausnitzii are really important um, for, our, for our health and our physiology. So um, reduced levels of Fecalobacterium prausnitzii have been associated with a number of different chronic diseases. We found People and researchers have found that um, decreased levels have been associated with chronic constipation. They've been lowered, or lower levels of this bacteria have been found in celiac disease, irritable bowel syndrome, as well as inflammatory bowel disease, such as Crohn's disease and ulcerative colitis. Furthermore, lower levels of Fecalobacterium prausnitzii have been observed in patients with type 2 diabetes and colorectal cancer, as well as psoriasis. Now, <clears throat> one thing as an aside, just because, so, the microbiome research out there has shown that these levels of fecal bacterium are lower in these diseases, but that does not mean that the lower level is causing the disease. It could be very much a symptom of the disease. And so that's one thing in microbiome research that we have had a, haven't had the ability to, to be able to deduce is whether or not these lower levels are a cause of disease or are they just a symptom of the disease. And so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you have reduced levels of fecal bacteria and prausnitzii, it does not mean that you're going to acquire one of these diseases necessarily. It doesn't mean that you're going to get one of these diseases. Um, it just might mean that your diet is keeping these levels sort of lower. Um, however, if you do have lower levels of fecal bacteria and prausnitzii, whether or not you have these diseases or not, it might be a good idea to raise your levels because it is such a powerhouse and such an important member of our core microbiome. So, um, if you wanted to increase levels of fecal bacteria and prausnitzii, you're not going to be able to go to the store and buy a probiotic that has fecal bacteria and prausnitzii as one of its main components. The reason why is that these guys are extremely oxygen sensitive. It's what we call the, what we would call anaerobic bacteria. Uh, they do not like um, oxygen around, and so it would be hard to make them into a probiotic supplement. So instead, in order to increase the levels of this bacteria, we need to turn towards our diets and, and nutritional modulation. So I've already mentioned that fecal bacteria and ferments fiber. So obviously foods high in fiber are going to help strengthen and increase the numbers of this bacteria in your gut. Another uh, 
type of um, compound that feeds fecal bacteria and Presnitiae is something called polyphenols. Um, polyphenols are organic compounds that are found in many plant-based foods and also can be found in red wine, which is always a good thing. Um, and that these polyphenols can help increase levels of the fecal bacteria and Presnitiae. Another um, part of food or another um, component of food that can feed these bacteria is a prebiotic substance, which is an inulin type fructan. These are natural components and they're found in several edible foods and uh, fruits and vegetables. They can be found in wheat, um, onion, banana, garlic, leeks. Um, they, so these uh, fructans will help to feed that fecal bacteria and presencei bacteria that we want to increase. Another type of uh, nutrient is called an arabinoxalin. Um, these are a cellulose that are found in the cell walls of plants. Um, foods high in uh, these arabinoxalins are also, are, are, um, foods high in them are rye, wheat, barley, oats, rice, sorghum, maize, and millet. So um, you can also get a high level of arabinoxalins in psyllium, flaxseed, and bamboo shoots. So increasing these uh, foods in your diet will definitely feed or help feed your fecal bacteria and presnitiae causing an increase in short-chain fatty acid production, an increase in butyrate, and keeping that gut really healthy, and maintaining um, a, the, a really strong gut barrier function. So that was our quick and dirty sort of lesson about Fecalobacterium presnitiae, a major powerhouse, a fiber digester, a short-chain fatty acid producer that we all want to make sure that we have at high levels in our gut um, arsenal. So until next time, I'm Will DePaulo. Thanks again for joining me uh, here at the Gut Academy. Thanks.